In September, the High Court ruled that Prince Philip's will was to remain secret for at least 90 years to protect the dignity and standing of the Queen. The long-standing tradition started over a century ago for senior members of the royal family. There will be a private process after the 90 years is up to decide whether it can be unsealed. Expert in royal wills, Michael Nash, spoke about the subject on Palace Confidential. He said, the president of the family division at the moment, Sir Andrew McFarlane, was extremely even-handed and just about this because he began the judgment by saying, considering the sovereign's position, it is appropriate that there should be a special process, as there are in other areas of the sovereign's life. I think we can accept that. It's really on what basis, I think how far it goes. He added, now, the solicitors and the Attorney General had applied for the sealing of it to last for 125 years, as Sir Andrew said, 90 years would be appropriate. Sir Andrew said that 90 years on, each royal will would be opened, and here's the crunch line, and examined by the monarch's private solicitor, the keeper of the royal archives, the Attorney General, and by any personal representatives of the dead person who may still be available. They will decide whether the will may be made public at this stage. He added, Sir Andrew said some royal wills may never be published, even in part because the secrecy will remain. I don't think there's anything scandalous in Prince Philip's will, it's just a question of, this is a very sensitive time for the royal family and a very difficult time for the Queen. I rather think this is what was being put forward in September when the case was heard in private. You know, we don't need to add to this by revealing things the Queen doesn't want revealed during her lifetime. An interesting point that Sir Andrew added as the custodian of 30 wills, none of which he had read but they're all in a chest and he alone has the key, again, even saying that makes you think, what are these zero wills? There are more than zero royals that have died since 1911. I can well imagine as things go on, that royal wills will not have to wait for 90 years, I think they may very well be opened after 30 years. More recently, legal action has been taken against the Attorney General and the Queen's private lawyers due to the ruling to ban media organizations from a court hearing about the will. The Guardian is seeking permission to argue that the High Court's failure to properly consider whether the press should be allowed to attend the hearing or make representations constitutes such a serious interference with the principle of open justice that the case should be reheard. The original hearing was not attended by media organizations and they were barred from attending.